Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, including news the US economy did not grow as fast as first thought in the first quarter. Americans' consumer spending and business investment were revised sharply downward. This revision helped markets in the sense that it's becoming clear that the Fed's tapering is still a long way off. QE will be around for a while yet. The Dow rose more than 1% on this news, and it is now well above the 14,900 level in midday trade. But gold fell again, and it is now down below 1,230 US dollars an ounce. In Europe, Mario Draghi has also signalled that his QE will be around for a long time yet. There is no talk of tapering there. The big euro area concern is of rising interest rates, something that has been driven by the US Fed settings and something that can do great damage to deficit reduction plans in the stressed southern European nations. It is not only countries being caught by rising rates. Bond king Bill Gross and his PIMCO funds are among the hardest hit from Bond's recent declines, a sign that the sell-off has caught some of the most trusted hands in the investing community. Apparently Gross didn't act aggressively enough on his own advice. In China, the central bank has continued to supply liquidity to its nervous banking markets and rates have fallen back for a fourth straight day. In Australia, the change of Prime Minister there overnight has seen little reaction on the currency markets. News away from politics may have more relevance for Kiwis. Firstly, Qantas has broken ranks and succumbed to pressure on credit card fees for online transactions. Its junior brand Jetstar is reviewing the fees too. Secondly, there seems to be a shift of IT staff underway from Australia to New Zealand. Our IT sector is growing and we seem to be ahead in the ultra-fast broadband race, drawing companies to switch to this side of the ditch. It would be unwise to overstate this, but the latest migration data also showed more inbound Aussies-based migrants, along with less Kiwis leaving. New Zealand on starts today at 77.8 US cents, 84 Aussie cents, and the TWI is at 73.5. I'm David Chaston. That was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.